everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about areas of similar polygons. So if two polygons are similar, then the ratio of their areas is equal to the squares of the ratios of their corresponding side lengths. So if we have two quadrados here, A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H. So on the right-hand side in this oval, we see if these two shapes are similar, then the area of one divided by the area of the other, or the ratio of their areas, is equal to the squares of the ratios of their corresponding side lengths. So all four of these that we see over here, those are the corresponding side lengths. So we don't have to know all four of the side lengths, we just need to know one pair of corresponding side lengths, and then the area of one of the shapes, and that can help us find the area of the second shape. So let's take a look at an example. So we just want to find the area of triangle ABC, which is over here on the left side. So on, they have given us the side length of AB, they've given us the side length of DE, and also the area of the smaller triangle. So we can go ahead and set up our ratio or our proportion. So we can say, um, let's do 14 over 10, right? Corresponding side lengths, 14 over 10. And remember, we wanna square that. So 14 over 10 squared is equal to, now we don't know this area and the area over here for our smaller triangle is 75 square centimeters. So now we're gonna square both of the numerator and the denominator, this like power of a quotient, property of an exponent. So 14 squared is 196, and 10 squared is 100. And so now we can go ahead and cross multiply. So this is gonna give us 100x equals 1, or 14,700. And now we can divide both sides by 100. So we get x equals 147, and we can add that to now say this is the area of our larger triangle would be 147 square centimeters, okay? So that's how the areas of similar polygons are related. Their areas, the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the corresponding side lengths. <music>